Chelsea City travelled down to Kent to take on Dover Athletic in the Vanarama National League South in their next league fixture. Chelsea City manager Robbie Simpson named an unchanged team from the win over Slough on the previous Monday. Dover had just been taken over by new manager Mitch Brundle, the 29-year-old, one of the youngest managers in English football, has guided Dover to a mid-tail position and they did beat Eastbourne at home the previous Saturday. Dover started quickly and this shot from Josh Ajayi in the first minute was well kept out by Eddie Beach. Chumps were almost gifted the opener when Tyrone Sterling's back pass was just about cleared off his own goal line by Dover keeper Stuart Nelson. Dover came close again when George Nakai almost kneed in Luke Winadio's shot. Jack Paxman, who's played against the Clarets three times since New Year's Day, hit this shot wide. Dover was strong in the first half and Nakai's shot hit the post. Lee Martin's header was ruled out for offside. Chelsea had appeals for a penalty when Arjunit Krasnicki went down on his return to the Crabble. The referee said no. Once again, Ajayi was threatening from the left wing and his shot was kept out by Beach with Bonadio's effort over. Into the second half and Chelsea attacked through Odi Alpha on the left wing with his shot curled wide. Dave Winfield once again caused problems at the back post from a free kick but former Dover player Carl De Costa's overhead was wide of goal. Left back Ben Brooks had an effort from a long range free kick. Stuart Nelson gathered comfortably. After Chumps won the ball back, Arjunit Krasnicki's through ball found Odi Alpha, whose lob beat the keeper and hit the side netting. Chumps had once again created another chance as Alpha's cross found Jamie Yiller's header. Tom Blackwell couldn't quite get the final touch to put it in the net. That was the last meaningful chance of the game, meaning the game ended in a 0-0 draw. Both matches between the two sides ended goalless and Chelsea will look for a victory against fellow Kent club Tunbridge Angels on Monday night.